Good evening, Dean Davis and LiveWeatherBlogs.com, you Just time for the overnight outlook, and let's take a look at our satellite image. And what we're getting here is we're getting a, a pretty zonal flow here. We're not getting a good flow if you want snow, basically. You're getting cold air above the death stream, warm air below it. You know how that works. And we're getting these pretty zonal flows where storms are coming straight across. We're not really getting a deepening trough like I'm going to show you here. This is a deep trough that you kind of need right here we need a, where you need a blocking high up here and the low here so it can stay along the east coast and cause havoc here. Unfortunately what we're seeing and we're going to see for the next at least week and a half, two weeks is this pattern right here where you have it there or you'll have it just above. We get the warm and we get cold. We get warm, we get cold. We get warm, we get cold. That's what we're going to see. We might see some clippers. That can bring some light snow. You know how that goes. Nothing big and bad. And maybe a uh, dusting to an inch. We had dusting up in the uh, mountains of Virginia, uh, near Bent Mountain, Virginia, last night. So it can happen. We had some crazy severe weather last week with three tornadoes, two of EF2 strength and were 130 miles an hour, and one of an EF0 strength in North Carolina, only being the fourth tornado to be recorded this year total out of all of them. One in Texas and then three in North Carolina. So, North Carolina is way out ahead. and That's kind of weird for the month of January, but we're seeing it. And I'm going to start severe weather here in this somewhat down the middle. Uh, we're not really in a deep La Nina pattern like we should be. More of a neutral pattern uh, anymore. Not as much of a pattern as we had before for La Nina. Obviously, we don't not see the snow like we usually do. You look at the radar, you know, you see not much going on, a little bit up here in the Intermountain West, and a little bit of spottiness along the East Coast. That's all we're going to talk about tonight, really. But off the forecast, you can see 44 degrees, 58 on Tuesday with rain, windy, 35 on Wednesday, sunny for Thursday and Friday, 37 and 41 respectively, and what we're saying, windy, it's going to probably be 30 to 40 mile an hour winds, gusts up to 50, pretty strong winds coming our way for Wednesday. Same here with Baltimore forecast, you can see it's a little warmer on Tuesday, but drops back off. And Roanoke, same sort of pattern as everybody else, this whole East Coast, is looking at rain on Tuesday with wind on Wednesday and nice throughout the rest of the week. You can follow me at liveweatherblogs.com, uh, Twitter at Dean D. Davison. Uh, here's my email if you want to get a hold of me with, for any information other than on the site. I thank you for watching. Have a great evening, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Dean Davison, liveweatherblogs.com, meteorologist.